Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and our purpose here today is twofold. First, I would like to share with you what the, um, the rest of the Mother's Day gift that Brian got me. He, um, <laughs> he knows I love mystery bags and he loves them too. So he loves a good mystery. So he went a little, a, a little extreme getting me some mystery bags. Now, one thing I'm not sure of, I know for sure one of these purchases were mystery bags. The other one, I was unclear if this was mystery yarn or if it was yarn he specifically picked out. So we're going to go through that first. And then I... I feel like it's um, yarn he specifically picked out, but I could be totally wrong. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we're just going to share that. And then hopefully if you can stick around to the end, there might be something else that might interest you. So first, this is all from Etsy. So he bought from small businesses from Etsy for Mother's Day, which I loved. Um, and he went to the store, Cashmere and Coconuts, and they sent the yarn in these beautiful organza bags and he got me um this is cashmere and coconuts mcn sock weight it's 80 10 10 merino cashmere nylon it is 100 grams it is 383 yards this colorway is called peach bellini and there's the logo if you can see the print is in pink and not totally visible, but I will have it linked down below if you want to check them out. And look at that color. So Brian knows I have been loving the sock. So he went all out sock for me. <laughs> so you can see a lot of socks. This is so soft. This is so soft. And it is plied and it has the nylon in it but I'm debating using that for socks or using it for something else. So then I've got this bag. This is also from Cashmere and Coconuts. And this has, oh, it's so pretty. Another, this is their basic sock mix, which is 7525 Merino Nylon. The colorway is called Firelight. All of this is hand wash, cool, lay flat to dry. I mean, we all know that. Look at how pretty that is. It's, um... I see like a golden candlelight in it. It also reminds me very much of honey. It's a very kind of honey yellow. And it it's very tonal and it has some spots that leans a bit towards brown. It's blowing out when it's close, but hopefully you can see a little bit more color variation than when I hold it back. But yeah, that is so pretty. And then of course, he knows I like my sparkle. He knows I gotta have some shimmer up in here. And he got me this, which is so pretty. Um, it is not labeled. So I don't know. Um, but it is. Oh, you can't see the sparkle. Oh, come on. Can you see? Oh, there you go. Can you see that sparkle? There's definitely a good Stellina content to this. It is so sparkly and so pretty. It's like... Oh, I don't even know what it reminds me of. It's like water in twilight. It's like just twilight sky. I, I definitely get like Milky Way. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, it's so gorgeous though. Um, so yeah, it's to me, it look, definitely looks sock weight, but there's no sticker for a colorway name or anything. So I I don't know, but there, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, the other, he got me one more bag from Cashmere and Coconuts. Um, and this is very cool. He got me this set, which is, again, the MCN sock. So it's 80, 10, 10 Merino Cashmere Nylon. This is called Dash of Cocoa. Um, and again, it's the same amount, 100 grams, 383 yards. But look at that gorgeous gorgeous color oh my gosh like <laughs> I'm like speechless this is freaking gorgeous it is absolutely stunning 
oh man like there's even a little bit here where it gets a touch of maroony almost and that's just I love it I love it so much oh man and then he got me this sock duo set so this is cashmere and so coconuts basic sock set it's the 7525 Merino um, nylon base. This one's called Memories, and it's so pretty. It's got kind of a tonal lilac purple, and then the base is kind of a creamy white, and it's got some hint of speckles, and then there's some, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not hint of speckles, there's speckles in it, and then there's like hints of purple, and then there looks like there might have been one, maybe a slightly oopsie splotch, here in in the hank but i love the oopsies it everything gives it character look at how gorgeous that is like it almost reads almost a ballet pink but oh i'll just show you where i think it looks like it might have gotten a little oopsie but i don't care like like i said oh there's a little bit more here so maybe maybe that's a bit intentional maybe the the dye just got a little clumpy there. I don't know. I haven't hand dyed, but it's very sporadic through. And I, I do, I think that just adds beauty and character. So that is beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, I love the idea of the set there because I haven't done in my socks um, any type of color work or trying to do the different colored heel or toe or cuff or anything. So that, that is exciting to me. So that's what he got me from Cashmere and Coconuts. And then he went to another place called Good Noodle Yarn Company. I'll show you. I opened these all because it was a present. And, you know, when you're sitting there opening your Mother's Day presents, you're going to open the baggies. So he got me three of these mystery yarn grab bags. And they're all, they're all labeled sock. So we expected them all to be sock weights. And so here's one, and this one came with two mini hanks and one, I believe, I haven't weighed them, but I believe this is a 50 um, gram uh, hank. I was going to say ball. <laughs> this isn't a ball. But look at how pretty that green is. Oh, and I mean, this, I don't believe these were meant at all to be a set, but I think those two would look very cute as a set. Um, but this is one of the mini Hanks and there is a little bit of green tone to it. None of this has tags or any information on it. So it's a, it's an, a real mystery, but it's all so pretty. Like, look at this one. It's blue and it's got like such gorgeous speckling in it. Oh, now what I probably could do is go to their Etsy page. Oh, wait, there's another one in here. Um, and look at that red. Now, I mean, this might be a little bit too on the nose for Christmas, but if I were to pair them up, I think I would do that. But that's so pretty. I mean, red is such a challenging color because there aren't a lot of natural ways to get red. Okay, so here's the other one. This is in the um, the next bag. And again, I believe this is a 50 gram. It's kind of a, a light gray. There's tonality to it. It's very pretty. It's a very nice base palette for just about anything. Um, and then we had this blue mini hank. And like some of these mini hanks are bigger than others. So like this one might be like a like this feels like maybe a 20 gram and this might be a 10 gram but that's just me guessing i have not weighed any of these so we get this one with the blue and the very pretty there's greens in there can you see the the greens it's a very it reminds me of like um bachelor buttons or like blue flowers and then there's this one which when i pulled it out I thought of just one person, Miss Ray. <laughs> there it is. And this one, I believe, again, feels like a 20 gram Hank to me. That's very pretty. So that was this one. 
And then we had one more of these mystery bags. And again, this is from Good Noodle Yarn Company. And there is no, there's no identifying information about any of the yarns. I'll show you the sticker again, just in case. And again, I will have their Etsy shop linked down below. And this one, I mean, this is my red. I love this color red. Look at that. Oh man. <laughs> These are just gorgeous. And then there's this one that's kind of a stormy blue gray. And look at how pretty. It's all very soft, very squishy. It's not a harsh at all feeling um, wool. I'm, I'm guessing it's in the 75-25 range, um, but I don't know. Some of these are wound differently. So this is a very tightly wound one. And then there's this one, which is again, Stellina. Um, and this is more loosely plied together. But can you see the sparkle on that? Oh, there you can get a little bit of the sparkle. It's so sparkly. This reminds me of like a blue or green lagoon almost. Or I don't know. It's so, so pretty. Oh, man. So like with this one, I, I do think this might work very pretty together for a sock. But like these are just the way the bags came. And I do fully believe that that they weren't met as some sort of set, like use all of these together. It's mystery. Now I do think some of them would play nicely together, but this, I love this because as I was saying with that one sock set, I haven't done a lot of playing with heels, toes, and that sort of thing. And this gives me so much little yarn to try to start doing that with. And I love that because I would be reluctant to break into a full 100 gram hank to just do like heels and toes um but having a mini to pull together and say oh this looks great with that I'd be more you know more apt to do something like that because what else are you going to use the minis for of course um I could put some of this together and try to make a shawl or a sweater I mean you can make you don't have to make socks with sock yarn I'm just thinking socks because you know, I've been on a sock kick. I started my sock journey. I am loving making socks. So that's where my head goes when I'm given sock yarn. But the, um, my twist and turns MCAL, that's sock weight yarn. Um, I could even double it up to make a, a two weight and do something heavier with it. You know, the options are endless with yarn. And just because it's labeled soccer baby doesn't have to be that. Okay, so you've hung around here listening to me babble, babble, babble. So I'm going to reward you a little bit. I am on a mission to uh, tame the stash. I am not putting yarn back into the stash. So when I do projects, I'm pulling out my entire supply of that colorway and I'm going to use it. Um, so I made for the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight, one of the winning prizes can be this hat and cowl set. This is the full skeins of yarn I had left over. I had five each of these yarns when I started. And so I guess just proof, these are the half used balls. So this is the used stuff. This is the actual leftovers. This is the yarn I didn't touch, but is not going back into my stash. Hope that makes, you, makes it kind of clear. Um, but I have four of these kind of vintage rose color. It's, um, I believe it's 100% acrylic. It is, it's one of the um, Hirschner's Turkish yarns. So everything is in Turkish. Um, uh, it has a good halo. It's very pretty, very fuzzy. I found this one to be, it is loosely spun. I think you can see it there, but I didn't have a lot of problems with it um, splitting. And I didn't frog it, so uh, I, I didn't encounter any issues with frogging because I didn't. But with that halo, you know, you always have to be a little concerned about frog ability. So we have four of these skeins of yarn. Um, these are, it's all in metric, so 100 grams, 285 yards. 
Um, I used it as though it was a four weight and it played very nicely with this other yarn, which is a true four weight. Um, but I think you could very easily use it as a three weight and it would play nicely with that as well. So I also have two of these in this lovely kind of cranberry red that it has a little, a little issue. <laughs> um, but this is again, a hundred percent acrylic. This is 100 grams, 200 meters in the ball. The labels are all very loose on them, but here you go. If anybody would be interested in these six skeins of yarn, skeins of yarn, please go ahead and comment down below. But we're gonna keep this one on the down low, so please don't say, you know, thank you for the giveaway, thank you for the opportunity. No thanks required on this one. <laughs> I know you guys appreciate it. Um, but I do need you to put in the comments let's say vintage because this feels like a very vintage rose so put the word vintage in your comment that's what i will pick off of and i'm posting this today which is monday the 22nd i will draw the winner on um, monday may 29th okay i'm gonna put put that on my calendar and all the normal rules apply um i bought all this yarn youtube no other company hershner's is not associated with this giveaway in any way um you gotta be 18 or older um you have to comment on this video i'll use the random comment picker if for some reason the spammer scammers get us no it's not me there's no short list um i will announce the winner in another video probably with an ipad or something who knows um but I will not tell you you've won in the comments. Um, yeah, if you could be a subscriber, that would be awesome. Um, if you could like and share, we're still, we're working towards 2000 for our next milestone. That would be super cool. Um, I am forgetting everything. Oh, this is open international void. We're prohibited. Um, we will pay to ship it, but anything else, any duties, taxes, or fees is on the recipient. We, we, that's out of our hands. We can't, we can't handle that, but I can handle the shipping from our house. Um, and yeah, so good luck, everybody. Everything else is going to be in the description box. Oh, do know we are a pet friendly home. We have two dogs and a cat. So if you are severely allergic, um, you might want to look for another giveaway. <laughs> um, this is mostly when it's stored I kept it in its plastic bags that it was shipped in other than you know I had opened it to show the yarn and I shoved it back in and shoved it on the shelves um but yeah if you're severely allergic just keep that in mind um yeah I think that's just about it like I said everything else will be in the description box thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for all of your concern and support um, we still have the sniffles around the house, but thankfully it seems everybody is on the uptick and yesterday was a real, real bad for me, day for me personally, but I think it was just its last push trying to get you before it leaves your system. <laughs> At least that's what I'm going with. Um, but yeah, I was very thankful to have that hook review as kind of a pre-done saved video. So you didn't have to listen to how horrible this is because this isn't great but this is actually the first day I don't know why I'm telling you this but this is the first day in about a week that I haven't had to take Sudafed or anything to control it so that yes that is why I think I'm on the mend anyway thank you thank you thank you everybody I appreciate it so much more than you could ever know more than you could ever know okay I will stop being a blabbering idiot and let you get on with your days thank you thank you thank you I'll see you later Bye bye